I'm back with another mask review. So this one is from the Lakira Face Care line, which you can find at Aldi, which thank you to Carla for finding the set that this was from for me and sending it to me so nicely. Um, I definitely want to get another one of this set in the future, just saying. It's amazing. So this one is the Perfect Skin Gel Mask, which is mango. That's the one we're going to do today. There was also a strawberry and a kiwi in the same set that do different things. One's for anti-wrinkles, one's for hydration. I was on the fence about which one I should review today, but I think my skin's a little more in need of the mango today, so we're doing mango. So it's with vitamin B3, papaya enzyme, and mango fragrance, and you get a two and a half fluid ounce tube of this in amongst that set. I don't know what it retailed for, because I'm not the one who bought it, but seriously, Aldi is amazing from everything I've heard about it. I wish we had them more locally than three hours away from here, but anyways... Lakira Perfect Skin Gel Mask Mango with Vitamin B3 Papaya Enzyme Mango Flavor. You mean scent, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I'm nitpicking. Um, and Natural Mango Cells for all skin types gives your skin a smoother feeling and more radiant appearance. That refreshing gel removes dead cells smoothly and lets your skin appear more refreshed and attractive. Application. Apply to your cleansed face. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove with a clean, dry towel or cotton pad. Easy enough. Got my little applicator here. Got this. Already washed and toned my face. So, got my spa headband on to keep as much hair out of it as I possibly can. Obviously, I have to push it up a little to try and get the edges of my face, but we make do. It's a lot better than the other headbands I've been using lately. I finally invested in some spa headbands. So, we're even all matchy matchy. Matchy matchy matchy. So, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> anyway, toss 12 months after opening. Not a problem. It's not going to survive that long with me. So, these are made in Germany. Vid visit us at www.aldi.us and you can recycle this packaging. So, our ingredients are glycerin, water, dimethico, niacinamide, which is amazing for your skin, mango fruit extract, carbamer slash papain, cross polymer, soda, sodium acrylate slash sodium acryl acryl oil dimethyl torate copolymer. It's a long ass word. <laughs> um, acrylate slash C10-30 alkyl acrylate cross polymer, xanthan gum, algin, caprylil slash capryl glucoside, Caprylyl glycol, decaline glycol, 1, 2, hexanidial? I don't know what that is. Ethyl hexylglycerin, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, phenoxyethanol, sorbic acid, red 40, yellow 10. So, don't know what half that stuff is, but I'm going to put it on my face anyway. Because <laughs> this is not the first time I've used it, it's actually really nice. So... This is the first time I've used this particular little spatula with it, though. So we're gonna see how this guy works, too. I just bought this at the same time as this headband. It came with it, actually. That's why it's matchy-matchy. Ooh, that does work nice. Oh, holy hell, I should have gotten one of these a long time ago. That is super nice! Seriously, if any of you guys are looking for a little spatula to apply your masks on with... Just go to Amazon, search for the set of spa headbands that comes with six little applicators. That's where I got this. Oh my god, it's so nice. Just here, I might be able to just swoop and swoop and yeah, might be enough. No, not quite. I might do a touch more on the right side of the face, too. But let's do the forehead properly first. Whoops, I got it in my hairs. That's okay. Totally no biggie. It's just gel. That'll wash out a lot easier than, like, the clay ones do when I make the same mistake, and it happens way too often. So, 
especially since I've been masking so often lately. I think I missed my laugh line on this one. Was mm -hmm. yeah, I did. Like we especially need it there. And yes, I do have lipstick on while I do this. Would I normally? No. That's why I reviewed right before this and I didn't want to wash it off. We'll go down under the chin a little bit. I wouldn't normally with this one, but since there's still some on the spatula, I'm like, let's not let it go to waste. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer. That is a nice, thin, even layer, which is so much easier. Well, let's smooth it out right there. I was like, there is one little glob there, but... Anywho, I will go ahead and set my timer for 15 minutes, because I do like to do that. This is really soft silicone, by the way. It's not hurting at all to drag it on my face, but regardless... Gonna go set it, and we'll be back after I wash it off. Okay, sorry, I forgot to get back to recording this after I wiped it off. Fair warning, when you do, you will wipe out your towel. Uh, it, it washes out, so no worries about it. This isn't the first time I've used it. It does leave your skin feeling a little sticky, but not like gross sticky to where you feel like you should probably be washing it off or anything like that. Like, this is a level where I feel like if you wanted to, you could totally put on makeup over it. Um, closest thing I can equate it to is when you wear a mask with honey in it. That slight, subtle stickiness that stays behind, even though your skin is clean. It's like that. So, again, it's not first time I've used this, and I know for a fact from using it prior to now... It's not going to break me out or anything. It probably won't break you out either just by wash wiping it off instead of washing it off. So no worries there. Um, but it does leave your skin feeling so freaking soft. Like, oh my god. I don't know what magic goes on with this one, but I freaking love it. I don't know if it's something in mango specifically that maybe acts as some kind of exfoliant. I know my skin has been drier than hell lately. That's why I chose to do this one today. Um, I've more been focusing on moisturizing ones lately just because of the dryness. But I was like, you know, because of all the flakiness from the dryness, maybe I should do one that's going to take away some of the excess dead skin cells and just, you know get everything back to a level of homeostasis and stuff. So taking the glasses off just so we have a better look at the skin, it does definitely add a natural glowiness and dewiness to your skin. And again, it's not like a nasty, shiny, dirty look or anything. I know I'm broken out right here, ignore that. But uh, it has nothing to do with this. It has to do with that time of the month. Regardless, it does feel really good. Like really, really good. And all of the gel masks from Lacura kind of leave behind that same feeling, fair warning. So, I mean, if that's problematic for you, these might not be your deal. But, again, it's no worse than if you use, like, a honey sheet mask. It's, like, same exact deal. I suppose if you really want to, you could, like, go wash it all the way off. But I feel like you're kind of losing some of the benefits of doing the mask by doing that. That's why I try to just, like, leave it the hell alone as long as possible after doing it. But that's just me. Do as you like. That's your call to make, not mine. But anyway, and in using a little spatula with it instead of hands, it does go a lot further. And you get a more even, thin application across the same areas than if you just try to use your hands with it. Which is a big draw to me personally, because I feel like I go way too heavy-handed when it comes to masks if I just use my hands. That is literally why I bought these little things. Because sure, I had a couple others, but I had like a hard plastic one from somewhere that... Mm, nah, that wasn't cutting it for me. And I had a brush from Freeman that just... It honestly came looking and feeling used and I did not trust it, given I bought the set off Etsy... Or not off Etsy, off eBay. For all I know, somebody opened it, used it, and put it back in, and I just do not trust it. I tried to sanitize it, it still feels and looks funky, so that's gonna be a no-go on that one. If I get one in another set from Freeman, I'll try it, otherwise, nah, I'm good. I have some other silicone applicators from, uh, Spascriptions, but they're much firmer, harder ones that don't have any give. That's why I like about this one, like, look how bendy that is. 
So for something like a gel mask that's very thin, this is like the perfect type of applicator you could put it on with, in my opinion. So, anyway guys, I totally recommend this one. Like I said, it is uh, uh, sold in a set of three, and I think it's Aldi exclusive, unfortunately, but I mean, if you really want one and you don't have an Aldi near you, there definitely is eBay, and there is a crap ton of specifically this set on eBay. Granted, you're going to probably pay about eight bucks low end for it that way if you include shipping for what I'm seeing it go on there for. Which sucks, knowing how little that it probably goes for in store, but what can you do, right? <sighs> People gotta make a buck, but anyways. It is really good, though. So are the other two in the set, which I will be reviewing as well. Just today I felt my skin really needed this guy. That's why we did this one first. I had every intentions of reviewing them in the order they are in the box. Strawberry, mango, kiwi. But... I started with, or actually I think Mango is the last one in the box, I think, I don't remember offhand, but regardless, I know the first one in there is Strawberry, I thought I was going to start with Strawberry, we did not start with Strawberry, but that's okay, we'll do it another day, because like I said, I've been using a lot of the moisturizing ones lately, and that is a moisturizing one, so I'll probably do another one soon, but again, fair warning with your towels, you will wipe, it, wipe out a towel doing it, but if you're careful, you can get away with using a washcloth to wipe it off with. If I had been a smart person, I would have done that. I logically knew it going into it. I don't know why I grabbed a towel for this video. I don't know if I did it more for effect of it just being a literal towel since it's what they asked for. I'm sorry, I have a CD tower of stuff that was about to fall over. Um, rather than just grabbing a washcloth, that's really all you need. You could do cotton rounds with it, but I'm like, I'm gonna end up with stuff on my face from that. I would not personally recommend using cotton rounds to wipe it off. I just wouldn't. That does not seem like a smart move, and it seems like you'd go through an awful lot of them to wipe it off. So grab a washcloth. Just do yourself a favor. Grab a washcloth, wipe it off, you're good to go. Anyways, that is it for this one. <laughs> I know I'm kind of babbling right now. So anyway, guys, till next time. Or actually, I forgot my sign off. Derp. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.